They now we are here. Sound generations. Metaverse, MMO, and fast RPG. So as usual, this is my portfolio strategy. So I only recommend assets that are Bitcoin and all the other coins related to these seven categories. And if you want to deepen your understanding about my portfolio strategy, please check out my other video about my portfolio strategy. And here's my video link, okay? And today's deep horizon matching category is here. Number one, B2C dApps, especially they are the blockchain game in the third generations, okay? Now as usual, I'm gonna apply six anarchy points, so starting for the pain points, products, team, execution power, token economy, and hype cycle. And for each, I set the 5.0 point here, so the total score is 30 point, 3 zero. And also, if you want to deepen your understanding about my, how I'm going to analyze each point here, please check out my other video about my altcoin investment strategy. And here's my video link, okay? Then here's my total score about you know, DEDT tokens. So total score is 25.5 points. So my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. Then, so I'm going to recommend investment in D Horizon token, DEDT. Then from here, I'm gonna tell you the reasons, okay? So let's start from here, pain point analysis. So they may have two pain points. And the first one, this one. Play to earn is a critical solution to save 25 billion on bank in global. So first one is this one. Capital is part of the human society over two centuries. And this is the most you know, well-known visualization model, social regime of the capital society. Simply say, capitalists are just mutual exploitation player for humans' wealth redistributions. Then to understand this point, we have a great analogy from the internet, like this. So before the internet, TV was a major media format. There are lots of mutual exploitation players. So those artists who want to create the contents and distribute the user side have to deal with these mutual exploitation players, such as artist productions, TV channel, and advertiser. The internet industry made a decentralization of this media format. So in the internet media format, there is no such kind of you know, mutual exploitation play anymore. So no one stop you to create the contents and then distribute the contents user side. Even me or like you also can make the contents on a Instagram or YouTube, right? But they forget to deal with about the popularity, which content should not distribute to the user side here. Also led by user such as, you know, like or share button or something like reporting functions or a function like filter mechanism here. So compared with, you know, TV model here, the internet media format is much more democratic one. That is why they made a huge success. Then one of the typical, you know, successful case in the internet media format is this one, Iska Rores. So Iska Rores is a model told she was too big and unfamiliarly dropped by her model agency that has now flowing of over 3 million on Instagram and is now fronting American Eagle at Twitter's latest irregular campaign. This is the power of the internet. They completely the same things happening on blockchain too. Like this. So this is a post capital system. The old system here, there are lots of you know, mutual exploitation players here, such as bankers, venture capitalists, and credit score companies. So those users usually have extra money, like you, like me, Usually we're gonna deposit the money to the banking system. But the other side here, they are looking for money for buying a house, buying a car, or starting a new business. And then these three you know, mutual exposure supplier, they're gonna decide money redistribution from our side here to the other user side here. Then by using blockchain technology, we're gonna realize decentralized model here. Then one of the key missions to realize this decentralized financial system is this one. To say one unbanked. Currently, we have over 2.5 billion in a global basis. So, such as in Latin America, over 65 people cannot have bank accounts. In Africa, over 80 percent people cannot have bank accounts. Middle East, over 67 percent. The South Asia and East Asia, around 59 to 58 percent. We are all the time looking for the killer solution to save these people. The one high potential to provide this killer solution for the unbanked user is this one. D5 is NFT. The current lending protocol, such as you know, Aave Compound, standing for the you know, borough economy with the major fungible tokens, such as BAT or Ethereum. But as the next step, we are thinking about those NFT item stuff has a pretty high potential of the DeFi solutions, 
such as your smartphone, your house, tend to be an NFT you know, assets. Then thinking about much more high potential for the Unbuck user kill solution stuff, NFT virtual item on a gaming space. That's what we are thinking about. Then, finally, we made it with the Axie Infinity. So Axie Infinity is a fast player to realize play to earn by using NFT game. It's a huge success. But because of this game, a lot of, you know, lots of people in the emerging economy, they kind of lost their job because of Croatia, earned their money from crypto game. That is why Axie Infinity saved so many people in the emerging economy. It's a great killer solution for this market. Now, now we are in the second phase on the play to our world. It's related to the pain point number two, this one. Gaming is the next frontier for NFT. So this is our NFT market master goals, then data from Coinless, then December 2020, market size of NFT is just 9.3 million. March 2021, market size is 226 million. So within four months, 24 times growth. It's a huge growth. Then this test in August already hit over 1 billion. It's a huge market growth. Then one of the major player in you know, NFT marketplace is OpenSea. The OpenSea co-founder mentioned that gaming to be the next frontier for NFT. Then blockchain game industry itself is rapidly evolving. Then now we are thinking about the next generation of NFT game, like this one. The origin of the NFT game is standing for the crypto kitties. It's a huge success. But you know, the threshold level is much smaller, such as DAU level is less than 1,000. Then now we have Axie Infinity. DAU level is more than 300k. Then now we are here, third generations, Metaverse, MMO, and Fast RPG. Then they are targeting on much more bigger active user base. DAU level is 3 to 5 million. Then D Horizon, one of the high potential projects, they can achieve this level. Then DFI is one of the highest projects that can realize this level. Okay, so from here, let me tell you about the products. Okay. So let's talk about the product overview. So the DFI is an MMO and an RPG game. Multiple player can join this RPG, not a single player. That is why it's quite a sunny one. They have D heroes. So it's a variety of the character that each character has a special skill set. It's a pretty interesting one such as Ledger, Master of Training Monster, Archimist, Expert of Mining and Farming, Warrior, Born to Fight, Brave and Fierce, and Adventurer, Resourceful and Fearless, Rogue, Making a Living Badger, Assassins and Captures. Then of course they are planning to add more characters here. Then you gotta make your professional team by making an you know, ideal combination with the team formation stuff, okay? And then also, they're going to provide D mining. It's pretty interesting that being an expert in mining and farming, Archimedes can maximize the daily output NFT from its farming, also mining. Then from different mining field, gold mining, iron mining, crystal mining, and farming ground. Then you must actively collect the output from the field, otherwise someone will steal it from you. So you have to protect your land or mining. Protect your land or it will be looted. So farming field at a seasonal base one, be sure to watch, watch out the weather too. So that is why to protect this, you know, this farming, also the mining, you have to fight. It's a D battle. So you have to protect this land from the monster or something. So you have to form your team. Okay? And about fighting stuff, you can use monster too. As a ledger, you can create and mature unique NFT monsters, join the battle with them, and train them to a higher level and sell them then your NFT monster can be dungeon boss once they reach the, up to a certain level. The number of the ledger is extremely limited. It's pretty rare character. So top 10 monster trainer on the you know, leaderboard will share the benefits from the real pro too. It sounds pretty exciting, right? So as I told you that, you know, inside the horizon, it's huge potential about NFT trading, such as run, farm, weapons, monster, it's huge potential. Those are the critical elements maximize the game five experiences on a blockchain game. Then also, they are planning to provide the tournament. So tournaments are weekly based one, the top 10 hero, leader vote, win the reward pool too. Pretty good. And the monsters are catchable during the tournament for all heroes. So lottery fight will be accurate for the 13 creature and the monster during the tournament for adventurer too. 
The next one, D Quadage. So D Quadage is a fantasy sports game by Dragon Riding. The object of the game is to score more points than your opponents, and each goal to worth the five points and catch back the magic ball is worth 15 points. Then each point is also worth an equal number of tokens, like a game currency. Then game ended when the match ball got a code or the last one stayed on the field. There is no penalty rule during the you know, game. Dragons can fight each other and shoot them down too. The player in each game are limited, so if heroes don't get the chance to play or do not own the dragons, they can place a bet on the player instead and win rewarded after the game ended. So this kind of casual you know, game inside is also it's pretty interesting for me too. Okay. Then here is a brief idea about the game file. So like a racing game, using the DVD token to place the bet on the racing game and earning DVD tokens for winning the game too. Interesting. And the NFT monster. Player on NFT monster has a series of growth plan. DVD can be used to help accelerate the growth of the monster. Same as Ask Infinity. Mystery box. The mystery box NFT asset tokens are extracted through the player's consumption of DVD. Mystery box types include limited heroes badges, Items that increase attack attributes, increase defense power, or violence motor, DVD, or something like that. Of course, P2P battle too. By staking these BD tokens, like a check-in fee, and also you can earn this DVD token too. The future, this is the most interesting one for me. In the future, D Horizon will cooperate with other metaverse game parties to harvest NFTs and tokens from the firm or mining field. This is you know what I see all the time about Oasis on the blockchain game. The horizon approach is one of the high potential to become the oasis for the blockchain game. That's what I'm thinking about too. Okay? They're thinking about the blockchain game potential on the NFT space. I want you to understand about you know, what kind of game is pretty hot, especially the smart home market these days. This is also the practical reference for you to understand why you know, MMO and RPG game has a high potential on the NFT game. These are the leading mobile game apps in the global as of September 2021. So these are three major players, such as Subway Surfer, run by Keyboard Simple Games, and Candy Crusher, run by King, and Crash of Clans, run by Supercell. Crash of Clans is a multiple player, MMO. Subway Surfer and Candy Crush Clan is a single player. Yeah, once we can look at the daily active user side, Subway Surfer, 28 million. Candy Crush Saga is 21 million. And Clash of Clans is 70 million. Then the other item is pretty interesting one, this one, initial release date. These three players almost same time. But one of the main things is they run the same title around 10 years or so. Then still they're gonna maintain this daily active user size here. It's pretty amazing. But why I think this is a real-time strategy, you know, multi-player MMO game has a great fit for the NFT business stuff is this. So NFT title item inside of games. Once we can look at the survey software and the candy clash tiger. NFT trader item inside the game, since it's a single play game, so only character. That's it. But Crash of Crown, very different. Not only about the character, but also the monster, weapons, land pump, everything's possible for NFT business stuff. So, the Horizon, it's completely the same. So, to me, Crash of Crown is a great benchmark for the D Horizons. Okay? Then, value card pressure analysis. These days, next generation NFT game is pretty hot topic. Some of the competitor is coming to the market right now. So D Horizon here and Ask Infinity and Big Time. All these three players cover this you know, area here. MMO, PvP, and RPG. Ask Infinity doesn't have any kind of RPG innocence here, but the D Horizon and Big Time, they both are RPG game. Then about that level, Ask Infinity is an advanced one compared with the others. I want to especially focus on this area. For example, free to start. Axie Infinity requires three Axie to start play a game. That's why the joining hurdle is pretty higher. But the difference is big time, more focus on free to start. This is also a critical element to realize huge size of daily active user. That's why it's pretty important. The other element is the defined box. So big time starting from the Eastern, and the difference is starting from the you know, BSC, Binance Smart Chain. Then about defined perspective, Ask Infinity is a little bit behind because they're gonna decide to build their own second layer technology. The final item that we need to focus on is this one, YGG Backup. This one. What I'm thinking right now, if you wanna create 
pretty successful, you know, Star Genesis NFT game, you need to back out from that YZZ. Because on my analysis, YZZ just like a scaling engine for every single blockchain game. A success with Ask Infinity also started from the you know, collaboration with YZZ. YZZ function like you know investment vehicle, also active user scaling vehicle for each NFT game title. YZZ also decided to invest in DeFryzen 2. That's one of the critical reasons that I see the big potential for DeFryzen 2. Then here's for your reference about you know NFT DeFi ecosystem, Ethereum buys BSC, especially compared with the big time. Okay? Then for example, DeFi Warrant, BSC cover MetaMask and Trust Wallets. And Ethereum, MetaMask, Trust Wallets, Coinbase Wallet. Those are the three major you know, DeFi Warrants. That's why it's pretty important. DEX, BSC, Pancake, and Sushi Swap. Ethereum, Uniswap, Sushi Swap, and Curl. Pretty good. Renly, BSC, none. Then Ethereum, Aave, and Compound. Then Decentralized Stablecoin, BSC, DAI, USDT, and BAUSD. Ethereum, DAI, USDT and USDC. Asset management such as Wi-Fi, it's a cross-chain platform, so it doesn't matter. So only you know, missing elements of BSC is lending. I'm still not sure that you know, these elements here has a negative impact on a successful DeFi or not. I'm not sure about this point yet, but we have to continue to think about this point, okay? Then next one, team analysis. So here's a core member of the DeFi Shen, founder, He's a co-founder and a block party. Block party is a top top award winning world first tabletop gaming console. Then he's also co-founder at the Titanium Falcon, acquired by a major Chinese consumer electronics manufacturer. And he got the BS of the robotics at the Arizona State University. And he got also Master of Engineering at the UC Berkeley. And the top porter, chief product officer, VP of Stadium at the Block Party. He's a founding producer of the Dungeon and Dragons and also and also the World First MMO Mobile Game Ultima. Pretty amazing tractions. And Chan Tao, head of game studio, ex CTO at the Yozu. Market cap is 12.7 million, 20% market share in a mobile game in Asia. Pretty amazing. And David, CTO, director of software at the Block Party, and ex PP of engineering at the USEM, AI Deep Planning Tech Startups. And he got the PhD degree of the electrical engineering at the University of Houston. And Cecilia, CMO, ex marketing director at the Bithan Global, and she got the MA of the marketing at the University of Hong Kong. And Joe, strategic advisor, CEO at the Block Party, the founder and ex managing principal at the Kachina Peaks Capital, and ex manager of the corporate strategy and development at the Verizon. And he got the MBA at the Cornell University. Plus, a member, meaning US. But simply say, it's a great team. And then, advisory member, also pretty influential and powerful player. Tom, he's former CEO and founder of Hashbro Interactive. And also the Grant, ex-GM of EA and producer and creator of Call of Duty. Amazing. And the Jeremy, the co-founder and the partner from Everest Venture Group. So advisory member, also pretty powerful too. Okay. And the number four, execution power analysis. Then about the execution capability, simply say backup from YZZ is a great traction for the horizons. It's pretty amazing. Then for your reference, this is a roadmap, 2021-2022 for DeFi license. So currently they are here. Q4, next quarter, they are planning to soft launch for the beta versions. 2022, they are planning to full release DeFi license too. Then during this two quarter, Q4 or Q1, they are planning to list their token on a DEX or a central exchange such as Binance. Okay? The next one, token economy analysis. So here is token economy design matrix which I made and the major matching category of the DBT is this one, DAPS. So network effect is pretty important. Then here is network effect on the DBT. Since still they are pretty early stage, so some of the elements is still a hypothetical one. But starting point is this one. User who are interested in play to earn by free entry model. That's a great starting point. Then they got to own NFT and DBT token in DeFi and GameFi. Then they got to provide NFT DeFi with YZZ. Then this is the most important thing, NFT collaboration with other blockchain game with YZZ, they can achieve much more better customer experience here, so that is why their active user base is growing right this way. By leveraging this you know, active user growth, take a look at things, you know, asset growth, the DBT tokens. Then especially, I want to see you guys pay attention to this one, staking incentives for DBT tokens, such as you know, rare NFT creation by staking or something, or any kind of gamify solutions. Then you know they can realize less 
DBT tokens are foreign exchange. So less selling pressure on DBT tokens. So that is why they can provide much better customer experience here. Okay. Then benchmark analysis as of October 2021. First, you know, benchmark target is in you know, Infinity. Of course, it's currently 4 billion to 5 billion. Ultimate goal is Supercell, 9 billion, 2016. They got acquired by Tencent. So I think current market cap of Supercell will be bigger than 10 billion. Then current market cap of the DeFrizen is around 20 million. So simply say, it's pretty high potential up there. Then about governance now. Of course, they have to take care of this governance model in long term. But first of all, they need to focus on to scaling their product first. That's the most important things for them now. Okay? But here's one thing I want you to pay attention to. It's community treasury. So Axie Infinity made a huge success with this community treasury too. I think the horizon also has to do the same things. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay? Then number six, high cycle analysis. All right, this is a Gartner Hype Cycle Analysis, blockchain integrated 2020 versions, and a major matching category of the DeFryzen. Here, non fungible token, NFT, DeFi, and DApps. Since, as I told you that, gaming space is the next frontier for NFT, so DeFryzen can leverage these three items, so they can gain momentum from here. Okay, that's what I'm thinking about. So, total score updates. Total score. About pain points, 5.0. As I told you, play to earn is pretty important. Especially in gaming space, we are on the third generations. So DeFryzen focus on MMORPG. That is why, without any question, 5.0. Product, 4.0. Still the potential level. But once we can look at you know, each game element stuff, D-Hero, D-Monster, you know, MMORPG, as I told you in previous slide, it's a huge potential. So 4.0. Team level, 4.5. Simply say, it's pretty you know, well-balanced one. Pretty smart young talents, also well experienced talents guy here. It's pretty well organized team, so 4.5. So execution power, 4.0. But simply say to me, backup by YZZ is huge fractions, so 4.0. So token economy, 4.0. Still some of the elements in a hypothetical one, but I can simply imagine that the network model there, so 4.0. Hype cycle, 4.0. NFT, DeFi, DApps, all are pretty you know, popular category on a hype cycle level. So as I told you that, gaming space is the next frontier for NFT. That's why 4.0. So total score is 25.5 points. So my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. I'm going to recommend investment in D Horizon token, DEBT. Okay? Then if you got any kind of questions about this video, please think about to join my premium membership program, live Q&A sessions. Every week, I'm going to hold live Q&A. I can answer any kind of questions related to this video or any other video that I make. Then, of course, I know you're busy, so you can post your question in advance. Then, during the live Q&A sessions, I can answer your questions. And then later, you can check out the recorded video. So, for my detail, please check out my other video about my live Q&A sessions. And here's my video link, okay? All right, so that is all the time. So, I'm going to make this video for educational purpose. So, I'm not going to guarantee you any kind of certain level of investment outcome with this video or any other video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will practically help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and blockchain space. So I'm gonna make a lot of me this video on crypto and space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.